Welcome to the paddock at Monza. There are six races left in the Euro Formula Open, but Felipe Drugovic has been so dominant he could wrap up the title this weekend. But Bent Vascal scored his first win of the season last time out at Silverstone, and it could be in for a late twist in the championship. Would Drugovic be able to take the title at the home of Italian motorsport? Let's take a look back at the best of the race weekend's action. Ben Pascal had pole position for the 11th race for the Euro Formula Open Championship alongside Marcus Siebert. Siebert not getting away so well from second on the grid and that brought Felipe Drugovic into contention as they went down to turn one for the first time. Ben Pascal defending as best he could and uh, just one driver failing to make it through the Retifilio first time around. Some fantastic scrapping back down the order. Leonardo Lorandi, the newcomer, getting a bit hung out to dry on lap one and more incidents down at turn one on the first lap of the race, Cameron Das picking up damage to his front left suspension that ultimately put him out of proceedings. Now, Callum Williams had an eventful race, scrapping with quite a lot of the drivers. Here he was doing battle with Alex Karkosik, who then got hung out at the exit of Ascari. Uh, Felipe Drogovic closed onto the tail of Ben Vascal. Vascal was defending for all he was worth, uh, but eventually Drogovic had just too much speed on the straight and got down the inside of his rival into first place and was never headed from that moment on. Later on in the race, Pascal went off at the Retifilio and came to a stop moments after hitting one of the polystyrene boards. That put the closest rival to Drogovic in the championship out of the race. Uh, major ramifications for whether that man, Drogovic, can steal the title on Sunday. Drogovic ran out the winner by over four seconds over Marcus Siebert, who had Lucas Dunner chasing him hard as the check and flag fell after 16 laps of hard but fair racing at Monza. It was uh, quite tough at the beginning. We were playing quite hard, to be fair, uh, quite squashing the other ones to the, to the side of the track, but yeah, it was, uh, was fair. And uh, yeah, then I could pass him in the right moment, I could put a good, a good gap so, so he couldn't catch me again again, again in the race, uh, on the straight. And uh, a little bit more. And uh, yeah, it was really good. I just uh, could put the, a small gap that uh, they didn't get the slipstream anymore. So yeah, it was, uh, was really good. And the championship gets closer. Yeah, yeah, we see now in uh, race two if uh, we can pull all together and uh, close this one. Uh, I don't think it's so easy, but uh, we'll see the points now and then uh, hopefully we get a good one second race. Felipe Drogovic then had pole position for the second race at Monza. Ben Pascal got away well and would be a bit of a thorn in his side for the opening laps. Uh, but it was Callum Williams who was tipped into a spin by Mateus Iorio at the start. Uh, nonetheless, Williams was able to get going and get back into the fray later on. This may have the Carlin team earlier on, although things would get better for them as the race continued. Not, however, for Aldo Fastanti, who was knocked into a spin by Dev Gore. And this was the moment that Leonardo Lorandi's race uh, was spoiled by Marcus Siebert. Siebert uh, retiring on the spot after that big hit. Lorandi making his way to the end of the race with damage. Uh, Alex Karkosik was mugged by the two Carlin drivers who went on to dispute the final podium position. Callum Williams uh, still trying to fight his way forward. Lost this position to Alex Karkosik by running wide at Lesmo 2. And then Karkosik hit very hard from behind by Lucas Dunner, the pair retiring at the Variante della Roja. All that was going on in this man's mirrors, as has been the case for most of the season so far. Felipe Drogovic completely in command at the sharp end. This, his 10th win of 2018, sealing the championship with four races to spare. I was uh, trying to get it here because it's a uh, home race, kind of for me and also especially for the for the for the team. It's home race for them, so yeah, it's, I think it's even more special for them to to get it here. So yeah, I'm really thankful for for all the work they they did for me. And uh, yeah, it was uh, the car was perfect throughout the whole weekend. Now uh, I could get a quite good start and was just uh, managing the gap from from the guys behind. They were they were catching a lot with the toes on the straight, but then, yeah, 
they started fighting and then I pushed really a lot to, to get a good gap and then uh, that was it that uh, I could finish the race like this. It was, it is a record season uh, for you, what does this title mean? Uh, for sure it means a lot. Uh, of course, I think every driver dreams a little bit driving an F3 car and, then, uh, and even more being champion with it. So yeah, it's really quite special.